Asheville is it's Asheville is considered a mecca for busking and it is in it is because I started busking here that for the past four years my life has been dramatically improved even though I live all the way out in Raleigh it's only busking here a couple of times and how fantastic the busking policies are here that it just it makes waves all across the country and if it's harder to busk here then busking is going to lessen in degrees everywhere around the country. I think it's very important that busking keeps the keeps being the same way as it's always been. Uh, when we first found uh, about Asheville, we sort of thought about it as a busking town, and that was part of the it, what really attracted us to Asheville. And uh, I think that it should just keep being the same way because it's, it means diversity. It means uh, it's just a part of our culture, and uh, it's very. Very, very important to keep it. It's, it's us. I live in Canada, so I come come south in the winter and stuff. But uh, uh, it's a great spot to travel and play music. But uh, yeah, like a year ago when I came, there was all this politics. I didn't really understand what's happening, but um, yeah, like not being able to sell CDs, not having to sign, and all this stuff I never heard about. Uh, it seems a bit better than it was last year, but it's still kind of up in the air and no one really knows what's happening. Like when I came this like a, few, like a week ago, I wasn't sure if busking was still happening, but it seems like it is. It's this magic of life that keeps us alive. Apparently they are going to try to move um, people to the park so they can't play on the streets here. They don't feel like the park here? I don't know where. Now they're going to draw um, squares and only people can play in those squares. Yeah. Well, if they had done that, what would? What do you think of that? Well, the problem with that is, one, it's overcrowded. It would be way too overcrowded. Like, you, so you got to make a square. Like right now, we have a square, a small like rectangle kind of thing. But if you put someone like a just a general area of a square, mm -hmm. then the 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 problem the problem with that is that you get a lot of people who are going to be playing with bigger instruments. They're going to be playing in bigger mm -hmm. crowds, and then you're not going to be able to get the full fundamentals that you would get if you're out here. Yeah. And you know, we have one guy right here, we have a few people over there, we have a guy around the corner over there, and it's just, you know, these people get to walk around, and they get to experience something. They get to experience all of this. They get to experience all of us. So, if you ruin that experience for people, then they're just going to go to one spot. And if they don't know about that spot, then they're not going to get the full actual experience. Um, I like how it is. I like the whole... Like, some place for two hours, you can just wait, and then you play for two hours, and you let someone else do it. That's awesome. It's really friendly. Um, I, I would allow solicitation of CDs, you know? I think you should be able to have a sign that says CDs for sale. You should be able to vocalize that, too, without getting in trouble. Yeah, I've, the relationship with the cop should be different. Like, not so, you know, stark and But, the, I don't contrast. know. Police officers are pretty friendly. Um, some of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you should just be able to sell CDs without an issue. But it does feel kind of like a thing where it's it's a law and you shouldn't do it, but it doesn't uh, like, seem like anybody cares. Yeah. I'm sure if we were on the street corner going, hey, buy our buy, shit. Buy, 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 yeah. Yeah, they'd probably be like, well, don't. <laughs> They're pretty friendly. Um, I mean, it's probably the friendliest busking city I've ever been to in North America. Not that I've left North America, but <laughs> if I did, that's what I would say. <laughs>